guys, it's me. I am cooking myself a late lunch. I got up at 9. I had toast earlier and some tea and some jeeves and that's it. And now I'm making myself some Punjab eggplant again. That's what it looks like. It tastes better than it looks. And some vegetables. And I've got some like Indian like chip things that I'm gonna have with it. So mostly healthy, probably except for the chips. But I could do a lot worse. Um, I'm trying to ease myself into eating healthier. I know you guys are probably looking at me like I have three heads because I'm vegan, so I probably eat healthier than a lot of people, but still. I need to eat healthier to lose weight. I've got my hat and scarf on because I just came home and I'm taking them off yet. But I look cute today. I got this hat. It was my mom's, like from the 70s, and matching scarf. And then I've got this jacket that I think also used to be my mom's. It's got patches on the elbows. And my favorite jeans and my shoes. And I feel cute today. I got my gloves in my pocket. It's cold. It could be worse. That's not too bad today, but it, it could be worse. And almost done with Percy Jackson, book four, Battle of the Labyrinth. It'll be my first book I finish for the year, though I am behind right now. So I hope to zip through the next one and then get started on either Mortal Instruments or finish um, Maximum Ride series, which I wasn't really crazy about, but I was able to get the rest of the series for free in audio from the library, so I'm going to finish it for the sake of finishing it. I think the writing is a little weak, but the story is so... the story and the idea of the characters and uh, what makes them unique is so different from anything I've read before that I like I want to know what happens even though I thought the writing was a little bad for the second and third book especially the third one I love the first one I think I gave it four or five stars but the second and third one weren't so good so I'm going to fix myself a plate and I will see you guys in a minute yum Veggies, eggplant, chips. Yummy. That's going to be yummy. I can dip the chips in the eggplant. I have veggies. And if I don't eat it all, I have some for tomorrow. What's up, guys? I don't really know how to start this. Even now, still, we've been doing this for over a hundred days, and I still don't know how to start these things. Ugh. Today was a day, Friday, and I work today. Big surprise. I work every day, pretty much. I don't know. Seven straight is what I'm doing right now. Kind of sucks, but hopefully someday it turns into something good. Um, yeah, I work today, and... Uh, it's really slow at work. I got done really quick, like, relatively speaking. I can't, I'm not as fast at cleaning the meat room as some of the other guys, or, like, as fast as I am at closing seafood. I am wicked fast at closing seafood. I could have everything done in seafood in an hour. Well, not, like, pulling the case, like, pulling the showcase, but all the cleaning, I could have everything done except for the case pull in an hour. Pretty slow today, so I got everything done fairly quick. Gotta go to bed soon. Cause I gotta get back, or I have to get up early and go back at nine in the morning. And, uh, yeah. And what'd you guys do today? And if we get stuck at work, I guess the kind of hours I work at my store would be considered full time at most other places, but they don't. I'm still 
part-time status, part-time pay, part-time benefits. It's, uh, I've been there for four years. <sighs> yeah. I guess you guys want to hear another story from my past? I know yesterday's were riveting. This one's not um, a particularly happy story, but it happened. And it really affected me. When I was 15, yeah, I was 15 because I was in sophomore year of high school. One day I'm going to lunch, and I noticed that there's cops going into the cafeteria, and I'm like, wow, they think we're so bad they have to bring cops to the school to watch us during lunchtime. That's crazy. So I went to go get my lunch. It was chicken patty day that day. I remember that because it was chicken patty day. And I go back to my to the table I usually sit at, and I notice, like, right in front of me, the cops are there, and they're trying to get one of my classmates to come with them. Now, I, ne I never actually had any classes with this kid, but I knew who he was. He was a huge kid. I guess um, he had threatened to kill the assistant principal. or he, His title at my school was the dean. Like, he did something. He had gotten suspended. They told me I had to go home. He's like, I want to eat lunch first. And they're like, no, you can't eat lunch. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill you. Called the cops. And just right there in the lunchroom. Like, literally, I don't know, like, ten feet away from uh, the table I usually sit at. I'm standing there because they're, the, uh, they're trying to hold us back from getting involved. There's cops beating my classmate with nightsticks and pepper spraying him. And it takes, like, four or five cops to finally, like, get him down and handcuff him. And it's, it's nuts. And then, like, the whole cafeteria smelled like pepper spray. And I, I couldn't even enjoy my chicken patty sandwich. I'm going to end this so I can send the video to Jen before it gets too long. And then I'm going to watch some home movies on Netflix. I'm going to go to bed. And, uh... Oh, excuse me. I'll get up for like... I don't know, I'll probably set my alarm for like 7 because i got to be there for 9. It leaves me a little time to get to uh, hit the snooze button a few times. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully uh, I'll try to... I'll bring my camera to work and maybe I can film on my lunch break. Maybe. I don't know. I gotta do laundry tomorrow, and then it works Sunday night, and then I finally get a day off on Monday. Finally get a day off.